Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today I will solve Joy of Computing using Python Week 2 quiz assignment. And I hope you liked Week 1 quiz answer and you will also like it for Week 2 as well. So, coming to the question number 1, here we have a statement. If a variable is assigned multiple times, the latest value is not stored in the variable. So it is asking whether this statement is true or false. So according to me, this statement is false as variable will always pick the as it will always pick the latest value of a variable. So I have prepared one example to explain you. Here we have a variable named n. In the first assignment, I have given 9.99 value as a as a float data type for n. For second assignment, I have given this string value and for the third assignment, I have given this list value and the fourth and for the fourth assignment, I have given this true as a boolean value and for the last assignment, which is the latest assignment, I have given n equal to 100. Now if I run this code, I will, if I run this code and print the value of n, then I will get the value of n as 100 as it has taken the latest assigned value and you can also see that it has taken the latest data type as well so for question number one you can mark option b as the answer now coming to question number two which of the following uh, which of the following code prints hello ram lakshman and haluman along with this exclamation mark so i have copied all this code towards my right side in google collab and you can see if I run this first code, we will get exactly uh, what we wanted from the question. Hello, Ram, Lakshman, Hanuman along with this exclamation mark. Now for second question, uh, second option, sorry. A name, uh, we will get error as name one is repeated twice, means Ram will be repeated twice. You can see Ram is repeated twice. So we will not give a tick to option number B. Now coming to option number C, you can see it is uh, exactly typed as given in the question. Hello, Ram Lakshman. And if I run this one, you will get, you will see that we are getting the exact output as needed in the question. So we can, so you can give a tick for option number C. Now going for the option number D, you can see this Ram is repeated twice as it is already given here. And also they are using Ram in name one. So if I run op for option number D, you can see hello Ram Ram. So Ram is repeated twice, which is not needed in the question. So for option number, so for question number two, you can mark option A and you can tick option A and option C as the answer. Before going to the next question, I want to make something clear to you. Uh, if I made, uh, if I make any change in answer, I will inform in my Telegram channel. I will also inform in this YouTube channel community tab or in this video description. So make sure to change your answer if I change my answer. So for question number three, what are not the correct ways to input Python as an integer? So by default, if you take input in Python, it will take input as a string. But here in this case, we want to inform Python that we don't want to input a string, we want to input integer as an, we want to take integer as an input. So which are not the correct ways of doing it. So I tried to copy, uh, copy these steps in my right hand side, you can see. Uh, so this for option one, option A, B and C. So first option will give error as we don't have in function. If I execute this code, I will get error for option a you can see this is invalid syntax as in function does not exist so i will comment and you can mark this in input as uh, you can pick if you can give a tick for this in input as it is not the correct way now if i execute after giving comment for option a you can see first you can see it has given float for input so if i give any value it will convert it to float it will not keep it as integer you can see for option B, if I give input 15, it is giving output as 15.0. So it is also not the correct way. So you can also check option B for question number three. 
and for the third option if i give input as 15 then i will also get the output as 15 so this is the correct way so that is why i am not giving check for option number c now going to option number d first line should have a equal to input i have given and second line should have a equal to integer a and they have typed like this i mean if you copy this and you will get an indentation error so i hope nptl is not keeping in mind the indentation error if i copy exactly from here so that is why i am not taking indentation error into account and i will mark it as correct way of input so if i give input i will give output as it will give output as 15 so so for question number 3 give a check for option a and option b going to question number 4 this is the code so you can see you can also see it in the right hand side i am i am making one correction as needed so you can see it is exactly matching with this question a7 result 1 everything is fine so if i execute this code it will give output as 722 as said in the question and i am also getting output as a output as 722 now they are telling for what value of a means this is a which is currently assigned as 7 it will give output as 8 so we have to change the value of a and check whether we are getting output as 8 or not and if we are getting output as 8 it means that is the correct option so according to option a we have to give 2 as the value of a so giving 2 for a according to option 1 and if i execute this code i got output as 3 but we need 8 as output now according to option b i am giving the value of a as 1 and if i again run it then i will get output as 3 but we want output as 8 now according to option number c i will give the output of a as 4 and if i again execute it i will get output as 8 as expected in the question you can see output 8 needed and we got output as 8 so you can mark option c for question number 4 now coming to question number 5 it is trying to ask that what this code is doing so i checked everything this code is trying to calculate the factorial of a minus 1 for example I can show you one example to prove my point why this option is right. So let me uh, so let us take the value of a as 4. So we are getting result as 8 if we take the value of a as 4. So if you calculate the factorial of 4 you will get 24. And if you calculate the factorial of 4 minus 1 then you will get it as 6. And if you cal I want to say if you calculate the factorial of a minus 1 and then do the addition of 2 then you will get output as 8 as you can see here so you can see a minus 1 plus 2 is working here factorial of a minus 1 plus 2 so that is why option number d is right for question number 5 now coming to question number 6 which option is used to perform a set of repetitive task based on conditions in python so it is definitely while loop no doubt and for loop cannot be the answer as we have to mention the number of iterations and it and it, it does not suits to the needs of question so option a is right while loop mark option a for question number six going to question number seven what happens when the condition inside the if and while loop ev evaluates to false so code will directly skip that part and move to the next part of code so it will skip that part and move to the next part of code you can also see it here code block is skipped and the program moves to the next statement after the if block and it is also same for the while also so mark option b for question number seven and question number eight i have copied the code in google collab you can see it is exactly matching with this one so it is asking does this code have an infinite loop so yes according to me yes it has infinite loop if we give 
if we input the value of a as 0 so i am giving the input as 0 and you will see infinite loop so you can see this is running and this will never stop and you can also notice this very small cursor which is going for from going to this while condition then going to this if and then going to down one if and it will continue forever so uh, they have asked how we can stop this infinite loop so to stop this infinite loop you have to do one thing let me first stop this code so you can see keyboard interrupt error as i have forcefully stopped this code and we have to do before the if condition starts we have to update the value of a so i am updating uh, so i am giving it as a equal to a plus 2 now if i run and again give the value of a as 0 then this loop will stop you can see this loop has stopped so this is correct it can be prevented by updating the value of a before the if block starts you can see here before if block so mark option b for question number a coming to question number 5 they are asking for which values of name and age the this will print output as you are lucky so you can check the conditions also so this is the exact code as taken from the question so so if we take the value of name as atria and give the age as 18 we will you will get we will get output as you are lucky so let me execute this execute this code and copy this atria and let me again take the answer so i am pasting name as atria and the a should be 18 as seen here and if i press enter you can see you we are getting output as you are lucky so mark option number d for question number 9 now coming to question number 10 so for which of the options the previous question the program does not print anything so it will not print anything if we give sorry i again untick the answer so i am copying this akas after copying i will again so i have taken so i will paste akas as the name and i will give its age as 17 and you will see we are not getting any output you can see it we are not getting any output it is just the input so for question number 10 mark option c as as the answer thanks a lot for watching this video and if you liked my work then please like comment and subscribe